winter? Hi. Good. Um, Lila started the season with a little bit different role um, and a little bit more creative. Can you tell us about that? Um, yeah, Lila is moving up in the ranks of the world. Um, she started writing, collecting, and producing. And she's, she's basically managing Jackson's new Great, and she gets a little creative with her um, little project. And where did you get the inspiration to um, drive that? Um, and I don't want to give it away, but she is it kind of takes charge in, in moving production ahead. Um, yeah, I'm even like confused in what you mean. <laughs> yeah, well, she's. I mean, she's running the show now, and it's great because she's behind the camera, and it's. Where do you think she, her lo main loyalties lie this season? I think she, well, she looks at the sons as her family, and I think particularly, you know, Jack's character, he's been, he's been monumental in supporting her through all the hardships that she's been through. So they mean everything to her, and she's happy to be a part of that, that family. And, and she seems to have a really good relationship with Gemma. Tell us about that. Yeah, I think Gemma's sort of like a, a mother to her. Gemma's kind of been there to pick her up when she's down and, and take care of her and, and, and be supportive and, and she appreciates that obviously. You know. And Sun is a show where always ghosts of the past seem to come back so are we at some point going to feel Opie's sort of presence sort of permeate or? Um, not so much just in the sense that I think he was such a prominent character that I think a lot of people can't watch the show without thinking about him anyway and, and that's sort of a you know, for Jax, that was like his closest, that was his closest friend, his brother. And I think that that, that spirit's always there for Jax. And he kind of carries Obi's presence, you know, presence. And in terms of the fans, what would you like to share uh, with them in terms of what to look forward to this, to this season? Look forward to more of all the same good stuff. <laughs> Violence. <laughs> Uh, surprise, people dying, it's going to be great. Hello? Hello, how are you? Good. Um, share with us, what are your thoughts on the final season of Sons? The final season of Sons is something that has caught me by surprise as a fan, as a participant. The twists and turns that Kurt has taken the show on this year, just unbelievable. It's riveting. It's really riveting this year. So your character gets a little closer with Jax this season. Can you share anything with the fans about that? I'd say like many of the relationships on SOA, it's pretty uh, heavy and convoluted and has a lot of layers. And you don't really know which way it's going to fall, the relationship with Jax and I this season. You just don't know where it's going to go. Um, and how about with August Marks? Uh, man, Marx is the boss. That's another interesting relationship between him and I. I think there might be some drastic changes this time around. Anything you can tease us with? Yeah, I'll tease you with it's going to be unexpected. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you think is going to happen is not going to happen. It's going to be better. Is your organization going to be growing? Uh, I don't know. Maybe you got to watch and see if we grow. Great. Uh, can you choose an adjective to describe a sun seasons? Uh, this last season, how would you describe it? One word, I would say. Tony Dennison, he's the star of Major Crimes, but also on Sons of Anarchy. Hi, Jacob. Hi. How does it feel to be in this so last uh, red carpet for uh, Sons of Anarchy? You know, this, this is great. This is actually my first uh, red carpet for Sons. Um, you know, I came in the tail end of last season, and, and uh, they kept me on for all of this season, so which is an honor and it's been exciting. So it's great. I mean, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's the audience here, the crowd is electric and, and really excited. Tell us about the state of the Sam Crow challenge. 
after this season. Well, you know, I just can't say too much about it. I, I'm, I'm, what, what do I say? I know there's, you know, there's, a lot is happening. There's, there's uh, just a lot of people kind of getting their, their comeuppance in, in this. You know, uh, a lot of uh, the past kind of coming back to haunt. A lot of people, so they're keeping us very busy. So do you think your, your character will regret um, leaving the nomads and staying in Charming? Um, so, I hope not. You know, you just, just this never know. Of Sons of Anarchy. Uh, I mean, no. we always you know, get it's, so it's, it's, many deaths, so much violence. How is season you're, seven going to be Everybody's very close to getting into the next script. You just don't that know is the next script. So far, without um, giving away. But yeah, I'm hoping that, that, so that my guy survives. Don't come and kill me. I don't want to lose anybody. But it's always very sketchy. But every episode, you just. I think the show. On the first episode, there's a very powerful church scene. Tell us about that. There was a lot of emotion when you were all gathered on the table. Right. Can you tell us anything about that scene that the fans should be looking out for? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, there's, there's a lot of work at hand, you know, so a lot is going to happen. So some of that is revealed at the table. We all have to make a decision of where we stand and if we're together. But I will tell you, it's going to be work. It's going to be crazy. What is your favorite story arc this season? Yeah, you know, definitely. I really love like where, takes, where Jack's where character is going this season. It's pretty incredible. Yeah, he's definitely to taking a uh, turn uh, that energy you know, for the arc side. It's a plot and it's a little Jack's different some, uh, uh, character. Some twist and and, uh, after yeah, the chair's death, and, ready, it's and, and now he's it really seems like this Jack's set on vengeance. This Jack's is something And even where we don't really recognize him anymore. I think Charlie, she said. Amazing. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. Can you choose an adjective to describe this season? Electrified. We're here with Rusty Coons. Rusty, what are you looking forward the most for tonight? <laughs> you know, I really like watching the premieres on the big screen. It's like a movie with no commercials, too, you know what I mean? So so it's really, uh, it, it, it brings it into a theatrical, you know, type of a feel. So it's always fun at the premiere seeing, seeing it on the big screen. What do you think of the fans showing up today? They're amazing. They're, these people are the most dedicated fans. Some of these were out here yesterday. You know, I mean, I felt bad that I couldn't stay and sign. I'd be over there all night signing. You know what I mean? They're just, they're really hardcore. Tell us about Quinn this season. Quinn is very loyal to the club. Yeah, Quinn lives and breathes the club. He was the president of the Nomads for years, and you didn't see a lot of him. And then now he's came into Redwood, and uh, he's he's he takes care of business. He does. And uh, you'll see more and more of Quinn. What is your favorite arc this season? What's that? What is your favorite storyline this season? I can't really tell you that. And what is your favorite kill on the show? Because you guys are offing people left and right regularly. Well, I'll tell you this. There's no Quinn seems to like to bury people, and you know he's just—he's just a crazy guy. Is he gonna wor Is he worried he's gonna run out of spots? Yeah. It's always that worry. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of bodies. <laughs> Are there any props on the set that you're looking forward to keeping? You know, as a memento. If it was uh, my choice, I'd have the table. Yeah, I love that table. And I think this season, it seems it's a very strong table. Would you agree in terms of loyalty and all the brothers? Yes, everybody is hardcore loyal to the club to the death. Yeah, no doubt about it. They have to be just to go through what we're going through. They have to be. Can you choose an adjective to describe this season? That's all I can tell for what? Uh, one adjective to describe this uh, last season for SOA. What word would you pick? Brutal. Uh, major crimes, I think. All right.